the last time we were in Derry, it's about two weeks ago, I think, or thereabouts, um, we lost Diego um, up in Brook Bro Park. So there was huge consternation about, about the dog and how we were going to find him. And everybody we met assured us that we would get the dog back, which was nice. So I was at the dentist down in Keyside and um, the girls are, they took pictures from my phone. And they took pictures from my phone and they put them up on Pet FBI. Mm -hmm. and then they contacted the radio station. At the same time, Liam was doing the same thing from up in the park. So. Anyway, to make a long story short, Ron, you will tell you what happened next. Well, two of the students had texted me in the morning to say they were going to be late for class and that the wee dog was following them down Lawrence Hill. And I told them to go and knock on the doors on the houses up in Lawrence Hill. And nobody owned the dog, so I told them to go over to the police station to see if anybody had reported the lost dog. Yeah. So they left the poor wee dog in the police station to see if we could get an owner and then we got to put it up on Facebook mm. and then um, some had put up then that the, the dog was found or the owners were found. So, yes. so we're in Northwest Regional North College. Northwest Regional College. So and tell us what the Barber and students Gillian uh, Arthur and uh, mm -hmm. Catherine McKinney, two Barber students that found the dog and uh, so the interesting thing is, I lost him, I'm responsible for losing him up in Brook Park, which is an absolutely magnificent park in Derry, and I, I just came across it by walking by chance. But it's strange, Gronje, that looking back in the map afterwards, I'd been walking for an hour in circles, so I didn't know where I was, I usually thought I was a long way from here. But as it turned out, it appears to us that Diego was found about 200 metres just north of where the car was. And in some irrational and non-linear way, he seemed to have made his way back to that. But the question, the picture that uh, the girls put up about him, they had a lead on him, so they must have got a lead from somebody. They, they, what happened that day? Um, they took their belt off and put it on the Oh, is that what it was? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, we're lucky you weren't choked, Diego. <laughs> we're lucky you weren't choked. But I mean, I, or, I mean, to be honest with you, I just I had walked up to side of Brook Park at around nine o'clock in the morning. Yeah. There was a road, Craigan Road, and it was jam packed with cars going to school. And he has one; he's no road sense, but also he lives down on the shore. So, it, 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 and I honest, I just couldn't believe he was still alive because no. he was just. He, and the other thing, see, when he runs out, he's so small, That's you can't see him. Like, see him. Yeah. But Lee so, went to the park along this road at the bottom of Lawrence Hill. He went. Past, oh no! I went in through the walls here. of Derry and yeah. walked around that the way. Dog, how did the dog get back from? The he park? took a straight route through the he park. He was coming up. He came up. Hello, and he little boy. Down Lawrence Hill. He was trying to find me. He was trying to find you. Yeah. 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 How, how do you? Life just wanted to What was your story? You know, like dogs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he probably sensed you or could smell you that he was able to find you. You know, he was trying to trace you to back to the dentist. But, but I have been to been say been that. No. But two things. The um. The generosity of everybody I met in the park and everywhere, lots of people who dogs. But there, I mean, guys went off and, and women went off and went we looking for dogs. A woman gave me her phone number and said, I'll, you know, call me later on to see if you have any luck with the dog. I rang the park ranger. He said he'd come and meet me. Mm. Um, and what happened is I got a taxi back because I didn't know where it was. I got a taxi back to the to the dentist and obviously in COVID time he had to knock the door and wait mm -hmm. and as I was waiting for someone to come out another man came along beside me and when the door opened he said uh, I'm the dog warden there was a dog lost around here and I said oh you're the dog warden so then he was asking me can you describe your dog and I said well I have a picture of him here that I just taken five minutes before he got lost <laughs> so it was a surreal experience I mean the only story we have in here is what it was like for Diego's journey in the city. Yes, and yes. everybody we met had said to us, uh, in Derry, your dog won't be lost. That's incredible. Yeah, somebody will look out for it. Oh, yeah. and and especially even the, a little dog like that, that's it. That's yeah, yeah, that's but, it. but I mean, fair juice to the girls it for... Was, it was quite interesting to be done at the Keyside. Seemingly most of the girls had dogs. They all had dogs. Well, that's it, yeah. But what they said is, there was probably about eight of them they were wondering, you know, they were, they were really got on the floor, and they were mm -hmm. doing whatever they could. But they all got their dogs back. Now it seemed to me that most of them had lost their dogs, and they said they all got their dogs back through Pet FBI. Oh right, right. So that was interesting. Yes, it. Because I know I would follow um, the Rainbow um, Shelter, the for the animals, the yes. cats and the dogs. Yeah. And um, it would always be coming up on my newsfeed on Facebook and all, but. Um, 
It's good that he got back again. Isn't yeah, it? because I did find a, a, maybe it was that rainbow site, but it said it wouldn't be open until two o'clock or something. Mm-hmm. And it was a strange, it was a surreal experience, I have to say. I just looked around and he was suddenly gone in what seemed to be a park where other people let their dogs off for a short run because it seemed perfectly normal. But I was thinking, I didn't know where I was. I had no idea how he would even know where we, he could have been in Abu Dhabi. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, but it's just fascinating. Mm, How's it going? How are you? All good. Hello. Is it? Oh, Listen. he's back. Thank you. Hi. Uh, one of your students down there looking at the colour. Oh, that's okay. There she is. That's pretty. He's yeah. a lovely. That's Diego. Mm. He's lovely. He's a good boy. You're right. Mm. You're a friend, are you? <laughs> <laughs> he obviously was happy enough to go with the girls anyway at oh, the time. Oh, there was yeah. no problem going then. Now, I have to say, when the oh, warden gave him back to me, I didn't feel he was threatening you know I think no. he wasn't away long enough to and whoever he was with looked out for him you know he's used to dogs like yeah. Jillian has a dog herself and so is Catherine so they're used to animals you know that kind of way so mm. Um, but if nobody was going to claim him, we were going to. Oh, I was yeah. going to keep him. There's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. someone home with me. You've got me to draw us. That's it. Straws. And then who's going to get him? That's it. Is that right, Diego? Yeah. You're such a good guy. Mm-hmm. So now he's. Uh, but when he saw me, I've never seen him jump so high. I'm okay. so glad to see him. Didn't he, Liam? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Oh, he gets very excited. He was very excited, yeah. He got very excited that time. Mm. 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 Yeah. Love her. See ya. Alright. Okay. Yeah. Get started. She's seven. She's six. She's seven. 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 Right. There's the three chocolates there, and there's a card for you and a card oh, for the two girls. Oh, you shouldn't do that. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. You didn't have to do that for God's sake. Jillian and Catherine's actually just coming back. Well, that's so fine. just if he's can hold on. He's yeah, yeah. Here. Here. Give me seconds. Okay. Thank you so much. And the families come and oh, read over them. them. These right. are the two okay. girls that found them. Jillian? Hi, okay. honey. These are the two girls that found them. Oh, <laughs> Catherine, hi, Catherine. Hi. 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 We were wondering where you got the dog leash. <laughs> we were, we've been informed that you took your belts off and made the dog leave. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I just do walk. <laughs> yeah, because we weren't sure. Yes. We weren't sure where. We thought it was up the hill. We weren't yeah. sure. Oh, right. Okay, let's so how far down the hill was he? Because the car, our car was parked, parked the just um, at the park, you know, on the park on the way up the hill. Do you know them to be bumbles are up? Yes. Up that hill? Yeah. It was just, they just walked, just uh, up behind the car. There's a, there's a little park, there's a green area over <laughs> there coming down on the left hand side. You know that little green area, there's a... Just beside the university car park. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Just, just up a bit from okay. the entrance right. to there. Because we have no idea. I mean, to come back from Brook Park to there, looking at a map, was a completely different route than I had. I just wandered all I over this side. I just knew that it was, it was no, he didn't know where he was going because we had to stop and walk. <laughs> well, he was looking, but you, you know, you said he was probably smelling. But yeah. you, if you hadn't found him, he would have made his way back to the car and oh, across the dentist where I was. Because when I came out of the dentist and saw the car, I thought, oh, I bet he's at the car. But he wasn't. So I walked up to the top of Lawrence Hill, and then I looked down to my left. I don't know what you call that street. Mm-hmm. Then I thought, I better come back down, because in case Liam was coming the other way. Yeah. And that's exactly what happened. So had you not found him, I do think he would have made yeah. his way back to the car, because that's where he was heading. Yeah. I, yeah. Just looked, I just looked in the mirror and I seen there was a jeep coming down and he just ran out in front of it, kind of, and they parked. They ran in front of you, uh, on the street? On, on the, uh, there was a jeep coming down, right. jeep, yeah, yeah. and he ran out, no, and, and the jeep just missed him, and then the other car coming up nearly had oh, It was him. amazing. Like, I walked up, when I was walking up towards Brook Park, I was up the Craigan Road. Yeah. I don't know where it was, but it was at 9 o'clock, yeah. yeah. But the, the number of cars was enormous. I mean, it was just an f- enormous number. And uh, I, I just couldn't believe he was still alive because he's, he's no road sense, obviously, you know. There's some chocolates for you in a car, dear. Somewhere for you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
We just that anyway, you know, he always goes into that sort of position. And I just stopped him and then he came and I just picked him up then and I brought him into the car. Right. And we looked at him. We were just outside the MTV cottages, so there was a woman in that one and we knocked on there and we asked her if she knew of anybody with this wee dog. Mm. Do you know, and she said she, she didn't know, but maybe down below to try them houses. We tried down there, but we didn't have any luck in any of the children there. And she just told us to try some more and then go to the police station with them. So, so where is the police station is the one down beside here, isn't it? All right. So how did they take to it or whatever? No, I was calling on the she. I didn't even look. All oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Here, and I was like, you were know, looking for a man with a or something. I think it was probably looking at me going. She's very, she's very innocent, yeah. But then we just went to the police station and then we said to them then, so. Response? He's so adventurous. But he said straight away, he goes, he is not. Oh my God, 